Well, if you look at someone like Turing, his his eccentricities were were completely different, right? It's not as though there's some mold, and I I really don't like it when it's portrayed that way. These are really individuals who, um, who were still lost in their own minds, but in very different ways. And Turing was openly gay, really, um, during this time. You know, he was working during the war, World War II, so we understand the era. And it was illegal um, in Britain uh, at the time. And he kind of refused to conceal himself. Um, There was a time when the kind of attitude was, well, we're just going to ignore it. But he had been robbed by somebody that he had picked up (laughs) somewhere. I think it was in Manchester. And it was such a small thing. I don't know what they took. It took like nothing. You know, it was nothing. But he, he couldn't tolerate. He goes to the police and he tells them. <laughs> and then he's arrested. He's the criminal because it involved this homosexual act. Now, here you have somebody who made a major contribution to the Allies winning the war. I mean, it's just unbelievable, not to mention the genius, mathematical genius. I mean, he saved the lives of the people that were doing this to him. And they essentially chemically castrated him as as a punishment. That was his sentence. And he became very depressed and suicidal. And um, the story is he was he was obsessed with Snow White, which was recently released. And he used to chant one of the uh, little, I don't know if you would call them poem songs, uh, dip the apple in the brew, let the sleeping death seep through, was a chant from Snow White. And um, the the belief is is that he dipped uh, an apple in cyanide and bit from the poison apple. Now, I don't know if this is apocryphal, but people think that the apple on the Macintosh with the bite out of it mm-hmm. is a reference to Turing. Now, some people deny oh, that's this. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> um, but uh, some people say he did that so his mother could believe that maybe it was an accident. But yeah, yeah. quite a terrible end. Yeah, but two, two of the greatest humans ever. Mm-hmm. And I think the reason why... Um, I I tie them together not just because ultimately their work is so connected, but but because there's this sort of impossibility of understanding them. There's this sort of impossibility of proving something about their lives. That even if you try to write factual biography, there's something that eludes you. And I felt like that's kind of fundamental to the mathematics, <laughs> the incompleteness, yeah. the undecidable, yeah. the uncomputable. Yeah. Um, so structurally it was it was about what we can kind of know and what we can believe to be true but can't ever really know. Yeah, limitations of formal systems, limitations exactly. of... Exactly. Biography, limitations <laughs> of fiction and nonfiction. Limitations. 